Hello and welcome to my channel, the place where I take you on RV tours, campground tours, to hiking destinations and so much more. Now today I'm here in Bradenton at Gerzini's RV World with Zach and we're going to take you on a tour of the 2022 Black Series HQ19. Here is an overview of the layout along with the exterior and chassis specifications. And here are the rest of the specifications. It has a general water capacity of 50 gallons, drinking water capacity of 16 gallons, the great water capacity is 26 gallons, and the black is 26 gallons. It has a 2000 watt inverter, two AGM 100 amp hour batteries, and two 150 watt solar panels. This camper is great for off-roading and boondocking, so let us tell you all about some of its special features. Hey, I'm Zach. Let's get into this awesome Black Series. So we're going to start right here. You got the driver's side of your pass-through storage, as well as your residential breaker system. Okay, that's pretty neat. You come up here, you got your standard 30 amp plug-in. So okay. whenever you're at a campground or if you got a generator, it'll hook directly up to this as well. Okay. Coming right here, you have your tankless hot water heater which is great for on-demand hot water. Always have those hot showers. Right. Big window. Big double pane acrylic window. Nice. This is a four season camper. This is one of the biggest heat loss or air conditioning loss. So this prevents all of that. Great. And I see that it's tinted. It is. You come over here, you have your outside shower as well as both your water tanks. So this one is a 50 gallon standard water tank that will be everything for your sink, your toilet, your shower. Okay. This is a 16 gallon drinking water tank, which goes through a triple filtration system for all your drinking water. So you can pretty much put whatever water you, you can find, filter it out and drink it. So separate waters. Correct, two oh, separate tanks. Wonderful. This is your city water connection. Okay. Um, let's get to right here. So you have these monster off-road tires and behind these tires, you have two shocks and one coil on a wishbone independent suspension. Wow, great for off-roading. It is. It, you can teeter this camper and go take it to any destination that your heart desires. Now noticing these red rails along the side? Yeah, so these are rock guards. So okay. when you're going on those off-road trails, it's better to damage a rock guard that you can take four bolts and pull it off and replace it than actually damage the camper itself. Definitely. What can you tell me about this diamond pattern? So the whole diamond plating is designed for rocks. It's designed to be protectant of the actual camper. And okay. then when we go up on the front, I'll show you that it's actually angled down so it deflects rocks when you're driving down the road oh, or on nice. trails. And it gives a nice look to it also. All right, so I'm seeing some stabilizing bars. Yeah, so you have four points of stabilization, which you'll pull this out and then it'll drop down and then you'll use a 15 inch or 15 millimeter socket to actually level it out and stabilize it. Okay, great. Now what about the D-ring right here? So the D-ring right here, this is in case you get it stuck or go somewhere you shouldn't have. Each D-ring actually will hold 9,000 pounds. Okay, wow. And then coming around the back here, you have your dual spare tire setup as well as your two inch receiver for your bike rack or your accessory rack, whatever you need to put on there. Wow, that's great that they've included two spare tires. I'm seeing a backup camera above. Yeah, so it comes standard with a backup camera that connects to an app through your phone, so that way you don't have to worry about purchasing an additional one. And then, as well, oh, we'll get up to what's up on top of the roof. Uh -huh. Not only do you have a floodlight at each corner, but you have 600 watts of solar. Wow. Yeah, which is ran into 400 amp hours of batteries, which are on the inside that also goes through a 2000 watt inverter with a 3000 spike. Awesome. So the sewer connection is back here? That is correct. The sewer connection is on the back in the middle and raised up so that when you're going on those trails, you don't accidentally break it off or hit something with it. Okay, great. And it comes with a 10 foot sewer hose oh, to wonderful. compensate for it being relocated. Okay. Great. What can you tell me about the taillights? They're extended out that way because the tire rack goes so far out that they need the taillights come out a little bit farther so you can see them going down the road. Right, so it also has reverse lights? It does also have a reverse okay, light. Wonderful. All right, let's move towards the passenger side. 
So coming around the campsite, you're going to notice the first thing is this has full marine grade speakers with tweeters. It has a full beautiful sound system on it which connects Bluetooth to your phone so you can play all the music you want and whatever you have on your personal playlist. We'll come over here. This is the flip down tray table, okay. um, just for any accessories or prepping for your outdoor kitchen. And it is lockable. It is lockable. On top, there's an awning. It is. This is a full size eight foot out awning that is controlled from a remote, but it does have a manual override nice. in case of power loss. Okay. So I see some power outlets over here. Yeah, so we have a 110 outlet, which is GFCI protected, okay. as well as a 12 volt connection under here that is actually ran from the inverter. Oh, okay. And it's marine grade? Of course. Okay, definitely. <laughs> and what have we got over here? So we have a little security light, which it, it stays on dim all the time. And then if someone comes up to the campground, it's actually bright enough to light up the whole area. So it lets you know that someone is on the outside of oh, your camper. Wow. That is great. And then we'll come over here to one of the coolest parts of the campsite. So you have this awesome outdoor kitchen, which you pull all the way out. Oh my goodness, it's large. You flip this out to have some extra prep space. You get a two burner gas cooktop with electric start, as well as a silverware drawer. Wow, that is roomy in there. And then as for your sink, this is a gravity sink so you'll it has a little hose inside they'll drop down into a five gallon bucket or just pull it out underneath the camper let it go out on the ground right and then to get the water supply to the sink you'll hook this in right here and then you'll hook it into the water connection that's up underneath the trailer so it's readily available it is and you'll do the same setup for the gas stove as well as the electric starter for the stove which will plug in right here oh, nice Now this also comes with an extra leg for extra it does. stability. Okay. So I'll show you that when we get over here. Okay. This is the other side of the pass-through storage. So this is the table leg you were asking about. It just connects by a magnet right under here. Okay, great. And that supports the extra weight yes. you put on the outside. Okay. Inside your pass-through storage, it goes all the way through and then you also have a 360 level so you can tell if it's leveled out side to side or front to back. That is very convenient. And then this is all of your accessories that come with it. So you have your power cord, wheel chocks, the 10 foot hose, some gloves, and then a tire iron to wow. change out the wheels. Gloves are even included. That's great. So you're just ready to go. <laughs> yep. So we'll come up here to probably the craziest part of the camper besides the suspension. This is a 360 articulating hitch. Whenever you're going on those trails or somewhere that isn't a smooth road, this Y connection will allow you to go side to side as well as up and down 70 degrees. And then, per se, if you accidentally roll or the camper and the truck are twisted in two separate ways, this will spin 360 degrees oh, around. Oh, wow. And then you have this latch, which you pull up, which gives you an extra inch of compression to absorb some of the shot going down those trails. Wow, I've definitely not seen that before. Yeah. As well as this is not, this is an emergency handbrake. It's not to be used in place of wheel chocks, but it does help when you're towing or you're park camped on a little bit of a slope. It's just an extra added safety measure so your camper doesn't Great. roll away from you. And then these also come standard with a manual jack as mm -hmm. well as an electric jack. So whichever you need, no matter what the case, you're always going to be secured to the ground. Wonderful. And then we'll come up here mm -hmm. to the two storage compartments. So in the first one, you have a setup to take two 30 pound propane tanks. Great. And this is a vented area as well, so you can have them enclosed. Good. And then in this storage compartment, you'll have the diesel reservoir for the diesel furnace, mm -hmm. makes for a more comfortable air, as well as your two five gallon jerry rack right. for so your jerry cans. You can bring extra water or gas, diesel. Exactly. Thank you so much for all that great information, Zach. You're welcome, Ruby. Have a great day. You too. Now let's go check out the interior.
right here on the entrance door, there's a screen door with an aluminum frame. Great for if you have those pets that are always trying to get out. Grab handle on the side, electric step, and this is what it looks like inside. All right, so we'll start with the bedroom area. So right here on the side, there's a large opening window. Has a shade that you can pull down for privacy and a bug screen, an additional curtain that you could pull across. Some storage above. There's a really nice big nightstand on the side. Back here behind this glass door is the wardrobe. There's a hang rod in there. A couple of speakers above. Behind me, there's some more storage. An adjustable reading light. Padded headboard. Moving over to the other side. Some storage. Another adjustable reading light. Another wardrobe with a hanging rod. Speakers above. There's a 110 outlet right there. And another nice large nightstand. On this side, there's also a large opening window with that same shade for privacy and bug screen and curtains you can pull right across. Above, additional storage. And moving down below, there's a drawer, another one on the other side, and a storage cabinet below. Now I'm going to pull up this mattress and show you that right underneath. There's some compartments to access your utilities, and right here, this compartment can be used for some storage. Right underneath are the controllers for the furnace and hot water. Upon entry of the coach, there's a switch for the electric step, the switch for the lighting for the step, and the inverter controller. There's even a fire extinguisher above. All right, now let's check out the kitchen. Look how big it is. So where to begin? Take a look at all the countertop space you have. Has a glass covered cooktop three burner. Below there's a nice little oven. Right on the side here, there's a really good sized sink. Has two spigots so you get your drinking water and your general water along with the two faucet controllers. Now above there's some storage. Take a look at that. Nice and deep. These all shut very nicely. So it'll keep your items secure. Lots of room in there. Right underneath is the lighted hood vent. Big opening window right in front here. I can really feel the breezes coming in. Bug screen, shade, couple of 110 outlets on the side. Right over here, behind this glass door, there's some storage. Okay, moving down below, there's some really large and deep drawers. So there's three of these. Good sized cabinet right there with the filtration system. Now these are just some access panels. 
right on the side of the oven here, there's this pull-out pantry. Over here on top, there's the microwave. It's not convection, but it is a good size. Down below is the freezer, and that is a pretty big size. There's a shelf in there and an adjustable bin on the door. Below is the good size refrigerator, three shelves and a couple bins on the bottom and some adjustable bins in the door. Now let's check out the dining area. Good space for two people, really comfortable. I'm enjoying the cushiony backrest. Now this is a great place to enjoy a meal, but also you can use it as a work area. There are two 110 outlets located right below. I'm enjoying the breezes coming through this big opening window. There's a shade you can pull down for privacy and an attached bug screen. Additional curtains that you can just pull right across. Now there's some storage above, so let's take a look at those. There's the first one. There's the second. Third. And the fourth. Lots of storage above. Right above the entry door, there is your command headquarters. So it has all your switches. It has the switches for your drinking water and your general water switches. The electric meters below, your gauges, drinking water tank, general water tank, gray water tank, black water tank, and all these breakers right here. All clearly labeled. Right on the side here, there's some switches. So these are your light switches for your exterior and interior, and below is your master on-off switch. There's some adjustable reading lights, one over here and one on this other end of the dining area. TV is located right here, so you can sit in the dining area and watch some TV. There's the cable and antenna inputs, along with a couple of 110 outlets. Now this dining area also transforms into a sleeping area for one, so let me show you. Now I'm simply going to pull up on this lever here in the middle of the table and push the table all the way down and then let go of the lever. Now you just grab those really cushiony backrests and place them in the middle. And there's your bed. Let's give it a try. Ooh, very, very soft and cushiony, love it. All right, and now to put it back into a dining area, you just pull up on those cushions and now raise up the table. Now it's back into a dining area. Now let's check out the bathroom. It's located in the rear of the coach. Take a look. All right, I'm gonna step on in and check it out. I'm gonna start with the shower. Now the shower has this tambour door, rolls right across. Stepping into the shower, I have a good amount of arm space in here. Good height, I'm 5'4". Air vent above, it has this great shower head with lots of adjustments and it is adjustable for height. Okay, so take a look at all the countertop space you have here. Now, one of the special features of this bathroom is there's a washing machine in here. It is a seven gallon washing machine. Take a look at that. Great for when you come back from a hike, you have some really grungy, sweaty clothes, just throw them on in. No need to have them laying around your camper. So there are a couple of 110 outlets right here. Big porcelain sink. Couple of cup holders with cups already in them. 
Your light switches are located right here on this wall. They've included this great makeup mirror, big mirror in front, and let's check, let's check out these cabinets on top. Lots of storage up there. Okay, moving down below, let's take a look at these drawers. There's the first drawer, the second, and the third. Some more storage right on side. And you have your toilet right over there, a couple of towel bars, toilet paper holder, and an opening window with the bug screen and the privacy shade. Now, this bathroom has a door that just slides right across for privacy with this latch that keeps it in place when you're on the go. Right here in the center of the coach, there's a low profile AC unit and directly in front, there's a roof hatch that opens up, lets in lots of light and air. There's a privacy shade attached along with a bug screen. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tour of the 2022 Black Series HQ19. Now there is some pretty aggressive pricing going on right now. It is half off MSRP. So if you're interested, contact Zach at Gerzini's RV World in Bradenton. Look for his contact info in the description. Now this camper has a lot to offer with its unique features for its boondocking and off-roading. Now the interior offers you lots of creature comforts with luxury. Love that there's a washing machine located right there in the rear. There's even an oven, lots of storage throughout, plenty of room for two people. However, it does sleep three, so plenty of room for three people. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for lots more videos. Bye for now.